Hello, hello. Good evening. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Juan Fuentes. Hello, mister. How are you? Hello. Hello, Let's... teacher. Hello, how are you, Mr. Guillermo? I'm fine. I'm fine, teacher. Thanks for asking. Okay, okay. And how was your day? Mm, it was great. <laughs> Oh, really? What did you do? Tell me. Okay, so cuéntame, cuéntame. Mm, not much. Only go go to work in the morning. And in the afternoon, I, I clean all my house. Oh, really? What time did you yeah. finish working? At uh, 2.30 p.m. At 2.30 p.m. Yes. Wow. What time did you get home? Mm, around 3, 3 p.m. Around 3 p.m. Okay, that's yes. nice. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, and so tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? What is the plan for the weekend? What you gonna do? Mm, well, I have to work because I have my day off in Monday. On Monday, I have my off. Okay, that's nice. So, you're going to work the weekend? Yeah, the whole Wow. Week. So sorry to hear that. <laughs> so sorry to hear that, my friend. But anyway, what we're going to do, right? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? I mean, there's no option, right? No, teacher, there's no option. Okay, okay. And what do you do on your day off? ¿Qué suele hacer en su day off? Well, I, I usually... Um, I usually, well, wash my clothes and clean my my bedroom and go running if if I have time to run. Okay. So you keep busy. Mm. Ocupado. No siempre. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, it's good, you know, eh, bueno, to be busy. Eh, bueno estar ocupado. I mean, it's very important. Eh, bueno estar ocupado siempre es importante, right? Yes, of course, teacher. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, welcome to the class, mister. Nice having you here. Thank you. Okay. Let's see who else is around. Veamos quién más anda por acá. 
uh, 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 Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. How are you? Mm, how are you? I'm just fine. Just fine. You know. Okay. I'm just fine. Same old story as usual. And tell me, what about you? Uh, what's your plan for the weekend? Trabajo los domingos. Okay. Whoopsie. Okay. When's your day off? Cuando su día libre. Eh, no tengo días libres ahorita. Why not? Por el momento no. Pero sí es de los sábados hasta el mediodía. Okay, and Sunday all day. Yes. Man, that's hard. Eso está duro. Yes. Okay, well, and what do you do Saturday afternoon? ¿Qué hace el sábado por la tarde? Cuéntame. Um, um, <coughs> it's with my pump. You stay at home. Okay, spend time, spend time, spend time with my, my son, with my son. Okay, spend time with my son. Okay. Hey, that's nice. Qué bueno. That's actually great. So, well, nice having you here. Welcome to the class. Qué bueno tenerla por acá. Bienvenida. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Veamos. Marvin Alexander, hello, good evening. How are you, mister? Hello, good evening. I'm fine, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm just fine, just great. What about you? <clears throat> ¿Qué tal usted? How was the day? Eh, How was the day? It's relajado, ¿cómo sería dicho? Relaxed. I relaxed. Yes. All day. I relaxed all day. Okay, that's nice. Perfect, ter perfect. Tell me, and when's how's your weekend? Do you work during the weekend? Uh, yes, the Saturday I work, and Sunday no. On Sunday no. no. Okay, what do you usually do on Sundays? On Sunday, I usually, I, I sleep, ever sleep, creo que es dormir hasta tarde. 
oversleep. No, over -sleep. that's sleep till late. En este caso sería sleep until late or sleep late. Sleep late, okay. I sleep till late. I clean my bedroom and I watch TV. That's yeah, nice. Sure. So mm -hmm. you have fun in your own way. A su manera se divierte. <laughs> yes. That's nice. That's nice. I mean, sometimes we don't need that much to have fun. A veces no necesitamos tanto, right? Yes. Como the, during the week, at war is, is stressful and my my day libre se puede decir como que más my, relax. Completely relax. You don't want uh -huh. complications. Usted no quiere complicaciones. Yes. Excellent, excellent. That's cool. That's the attitude. Esa es la actitud. Hey, mister, welcome to the class. Bienvenido. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Katia, hello Katia, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, miss? ¿Cómo estú? Um, much better. <laughs> much better, okay. And what about the weekend? What you got for the weekend? ¿Qué tiene para el fin de semana? Um, uh, I have to go to the work tomorrow. <laughs> I have to go. I have to go to work tomorrow. Oh, really? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Normally I don't work, but I need to report to work tomorrow. <laughs> okay, and what about Sunday? Okay, till Sunday. Um, I have to do laundry, outer laundry. Sorry. <laughs> the laundry. And yes, <laughs> and I don't know read a book and see a movie. <laughs> Watch a movie? Watch a movie, sorry. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Do you like reading? Um, anyway, um, and lectura así como rápida. <laughs> okay, easy reading. Is it really correct? <laughs> okay, that's nice. I mean, you gotta you gotta relax. You gotta look what's for something that relaxes you. What's your favorite book? Um, I don't know in English, but Orgullo y Prejuicio. <laughs> Pride and Prejudice. That's uh -huh. uh, Jane Austen. It's correct. Yeah, she is book. my favorite. <laughs> oh, really? She's your favorite writer? Yes. <laughs> wow, well, that's cool. Qué bien. That's nice. That's nice. So you enjoy reading those books. Ah, yes. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, it's good that you have the habit of reading. I'm sorry, I'm un poquito el internet, teacher, y le escuché entrecortado. It's good that you have that habit. Qué bueno que tienes habit. Ah, thank you. Thanks to you. Okay, well, what about the weekend? Well, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
My bad. Uh, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Let's see, Jacqueline. Hello, Jacqueline. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, miss? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Um, bien. <laughs> okay, how was your day? Uh, ah. Procesando información. <laughs> Processing information. Like what? Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes, like like what? What do you mean like processing information? Uh, the auditoria. Auditing? Oh my gosh. That's interesting. Sí. <laughs> That's interesting. And what about the weekend? What you got for the weekend? Eh, no lo entendí. What you got for the weekend? ¿Qué hay para el fin de semana? Uh, working. Working. Traba trabajar siempre. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, okay. So when's your day off? Cuando es su día libre. Eh, es sábado y domingo, pero en estos días nos toca trabajar sábado. Okay, okay. Well, that's nice. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, uh, well, nice having you here. Welcome to have you here. Bienvenida. Okay, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Carlos Antonio Elias. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm just great. Just great. Oh, okay. And tell me, how was your day? Um, I'm very busy at work, but everything fine. I'm happy that it's Friday. Okay, okay, okay. Repeat, please, the last part. Repítame la última parte, please. I'm happy that it is Friday. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, so you have a, you have a weekend off. Usted si tiene libre el weekend. And no. You got to work? Yes, I I had to work tomorrow. All right, and, and the rest on Sunday. Okay, what do you do on Sundays? What do you usually uh, do on Sundays? I usually read and watch movie, and I like to watch football. Soccer um, or football? A soccer. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Do you follow any particular team? Um, in, in El Salvador, Paz, and España, Barcelona.
Ok, that's nice. In El Salvador, fast. In España, Barcelona. Ok, we're going to have a problem, man. I am from <laughs> San Salvador. Ok. So I follow Alianza. No, I don't follow any team. I don't have time. <laughs> um, I don't well. actually have time. Yeah, to be honest with you, I mean... Excuse me? Uh, to be honest with you, I work the 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 whole weekend. Yo trabajo todo el fin de semana. Oh, good. So, okay, okay. Well, that's nice. That's nice that you keep busy. Bueno, que se mantiene ocupado watching something that that you enjoy viendo algo que usted yeah. disfruta yes uh, and I try uh, to hit purposes and Sunday oh man pupusas mm -hmm. I don't like pupusas <laughs> no no I don't like to be honest oh uh, Yeah, I don't like pupusas. I don't like tamales. It's, that type oh. of food is not for me. Oh, that fine. Yeah, it's but, not my like. It's not something like that I like. Yes, but but, but he is Salvadorian. Yeah, yeah, but I don't like those things. <laughs> Yeah, those like, things are not good for me. Pupusas is like, ah, eh, whatever. Yeah, it's like don't, horchata. I don't, I don't like horchata. Either. I don't understand why you don't like them. Ah, no, no. It's, it's very delicious, no? Yeah. I think. Well, yeah, I know a lot of people that really, really enjoy. <laughs> Yo conozco gente que sí le encanta. I mean, they can eat uh, pupusas every day and no problem. Well, but uh, is you is you drink soda? Uh, mostly Pepsi. I don't like Coke. I'm not that normal, you know, it's tan normal, they say. <laughs> they, um, take care of your health, I think. <laughs> no, it's just that I don't like it. I don't take care of my health. Yo no me cuido. It's just that um, I don't really like it. Okay. It's interesting. Yes. Just like that. Solo eso, solo eso. Okay, let's see. Well, thank you. Let's see. Who else is here? Katia Maria, hello. Oh, we talk already with Katia, right? Yes, yes teacher. <laughs> yes, we were talking a few minutes ago. Okay, let's see. Ana Cristina, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm sick, teacher. You are sick? Really? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Qué mal. What you got? The flu? Yes. Oh. Okay. Um, desde que se vaya en el colegio. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> that's bad. I'm so sorry to hear it. Lamento escucharlo. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Well. 
let me get the attendance so we can get like right on the right on context. Déjenme tomar la asistencia para que nosotros entremos en contexto here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are, where is it? Right here. Okay, give me just a second. My internet connection is slow tonight. So sorry, guys. Perdón que mi conexión anda lenta hoy. I guess the internet, no it knows that it's Friday. Yo creo que hasta el internet conoce que es Friday. <laughs> yeah, because... It's not responding as fast as it should. No responde tan rápido como debería. Let's see. Adi Beatriz Reyes Granados. Let's see, Adi. Thank you. Ana Cristina Hernández Serrano. Okay, uh, let's see. I could have sworn I saw Ana Cristina. Yep, right here. Brian Aldair Figueroa Rivera. Present. Thank you, mister. Carlos Antonio Elias de Leon. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Enrique Rivas Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Marcela Rosales Orantes. Doris Alejandra Bolaños Cerón. Evelyn Karina Molina Maravilla. Thank you. Graciela Saraí Ramírez Cepeda. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego Ramírez. Presente. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Jacqueline Ivón Ayala Sánchez. Presente, Char. Juan Carlos Fuentes Cedillos. I am here, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Katia María de León Elías. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Kenia Marisela Aparicio Abarca. Present. Maritza Elizabeth Martínez Lemos. Present. Marvin Alexander Jiménez García. Present. Pedro Rigoberto Ramírez Salazar. Present. Rosalí Ivonne Quintanilla Mejía. Susana Carolina Rosales Escobar. Teresa Noemí Ángel Díaz. Ok, let's see. Oh. Why do I got... Let's see. I'm missing someone. Déjame revisar que me pareciera que... Hubo alguien que no mencioné. Mm. Well, let's continue. Vamos a continuar. Okay, guys. For today, for today, the activities. Well, we got plenty of activities tonight. Hoy tenemos bastantes actividades. And first of all, let me tell you about something that we are going to work with uh, in, the, in the manual. In the manual, we are going to check one topic that is very interesting, actually. 
we're going to work with a modal verb. Vamos a trabajar con un verbo de modo. And that's cool. Very cool, actually. But let's see. Uh, we also have a little activity that we were missing from yesterday. Tenemos una pequeña actividad que estábamos missing from yesterday. Okay, let me share with you guys. Déjenme compartirles. Okay. You remember this activity from yesterday? Yes, teacher. Okay, who's got number one? ¿Quién tiene el número uno? Did you enjoy the training? Okay. Now, listen to this. Did you enjoy? Enjoy the training. Did you enjoy the training? Excellent. Number two, guys. Somebody else? Again, más? Number two. Uh, okay, okay. Yes. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Evelyn, you tell me number two, and Guillermo, you tell me number three, okay? Okay. Didn't the manager attend the seminar? Okay. Everything is correct. Just one little thing. It's not a question, it's affirmative. This is affirmative, it's not question, you see? So, the manager, you see? The manager didn't attend the <laughs> seminar, right? Okay. Guillermo, number three. Thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. The maintenance personnel update their certifications. Okay. The maintenance, the maintenance personal updated their certifications. Okay. The main the Maintenance personnel updated their certifications. Okay, now number four. Who's got number four? Did the supervisor exchange business card? Okay. Deal the supervisors exchange business cards, and it is a question. Perfect. Number five. Who's got number five? Hello. Let's see, you can repeat guys, puede repetirse. My workmates didn't the convention at network. Okay, let's see. My workmates didn't, okay, it's like this, look. My workmates didn't network at the 
convention. You see? My workmates, my workmates didn't network at the convention. Let me read again for you. Did you enjoy the training? The manager didn't attend the seminar. The maintenance personnel updated their certifications. Did the supervisors exchange business cards? My workmates didn't network at the convention. Questions? Preguntas? Okay, let's see, let's see, guys. Vamos a ver. In the manual, we are going to start section number three, the unit number three. But in order to start this, I got a couple of questions that you are going to be asking each other. Para comenzar, the first activity is a couple of questions that you're going to ask each other. Un par de preguntas que se van a preguntar entre ustedes. Eh, doesn't make sense in Spanish, sorry. So, do you usually help your co-workers with their tasks? Do you often ask co-workers to help you with your tasks, with your obligations? Okay, those questions you are going to discuss, okay? Yes, no, and why? Sí o no, y por qué? Sometimes the circumstances of our regular activities are different and they do not allow for us to, to, to ask for help. Sometimes they do. A veces las circunstancias nos permiten pedir ayuda y a veces no, right? So guys, those are the questions. Now I'm going to send you to the group so you can work in small groups and you will have four minutes to do the activity. So let's jump in, guys. Vamos ahí.
all right up when I don't know how to do something. Okay. Katia. Do you yes. do you usually help your coworkers with the tasks? Yes, I try to help where I can. Okay. Um Carlos, do you often has working to help you with your tax? Mm, I don't. I don't help my with your task and you. Uh, yes. They help me be giving, giving me the information need. Okay. Uh, Carlos. Hi. <laughs> the question, Maritza. Okay. Uh, okay. Maritza, do you usually help your coworker with their tax? Yes, I like to help others. Okay. Katia, do you often ask co-workers to help you with your task? Yes, they they help me be giving me the information. Teacher is correct, my answer. <laughs> Repeat, please. Uh, they help me by giving me the information. By I giving need. me. Giving me. Yes, they help me by giving me the information. Okay. Ready, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes.
Oops, I'm sorry. I'm talking with the, with the microphone off. My bad, my bad. Let's see, Maritza Elizabeth, please. As one of your classmates. Pregúntale a uno de sus compañeros. Katia, do you usually help your coworker with her with their tasks? Yes, I try to help where I can. Next question. Do you often ask a worker to help you with your tasks? Yes, they help me by giving me the information I need. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's see Juan Puentes. Please, as yes. one of your classmates. Okay, Marvin, can you hear me? Uh, do you usually help you work with their task? Yes, I normally help my co-workers, my work. Okay, next question. Um, do you often ask workers to help you with your task? Marvin? Yes, I often ask my co-workers for help. Perfect, thank you. Guillermo, as one of your classmates, please. Uh, the first question, teacher. Both questions, ambas. Okay. Um, let me see. Carlos Elías. Do you usually help your coworkers with their task? Yes, I usually help me your coworkers. I usually help my coworkers. My coworkers. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see, Katia. I know you want to participate. Ask somebody. Pregunte, pregunte. Okay. And um, Evelyn, do you usually help your co workers with their ta ta tax? Task. Sorry. Task. Okay. Yes, always for the position that I have. Okay. Do you often ask co worker to help you with your tasks? Yes, occasionally. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. Okay, guys, do me a favor and give me 30 seconds, please. Tenme 30 segundos. Please, please, just a little something that I need to fix here. Tengo que arreglar algo acá. Just one second, please. No worry.
Ok, guys, I'm so sorry. I was changing the camera again. Estaba cambiando la cámara, disculpen. Ok, let's see. Who am I missing? ¿Qué me falta? ¿Qué me falta? Come on, guys. Help me out. Ayúdenme. The problem is that you got your cameras off. Como tenemos las cámaras off, me cuesta identificar quiénes me faltan. Who's missing? Who's missing? Juan, Juan Fuentes? You're missing one? Me faltó alguien de su grupo? Um, Carlos. Carlos Enríquez. Ok, Carlos Enríquez. Hi, teacher. Ah, no, no, no estaba. Teacher. Carlos Rivas. Carlos Rivas, Hi, creo teacher. que es. Ok, yeah. Carlos Rivas, I need, you, I need you to ask Mr. Juan Fuentes. Ok, Mr. Juan, good evening. Good evening do, you usually help, do you usually help your co-worker with their tasks? Y yes, I do, um, because it is my job to do it are my activities. Okay. Do you often ask a worker to help you with your tasks? Perdón, yes. perdón, perdón. Excuse me, excuse me. Do you often ask a worker to help you with your tasks? Yes, I do. Uh, when I have uh, no idea what the request. Okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you. Very well done. Marvin. Yes, teacher. Ok, choose one of your classmates. Escojo uno de sus compañeros. Yo le pregunto a, a Juan, a Carlos. Ok, who were in your group? ¿Quiénes estaban en su grupo? Let's see. Eh, Carlos y Juan. Ok, so ask Carlos, please. Ok, Bye. teacher. Do you usually have your co-works with their dates? Tasks, tasks, tasks. Yes, I I ask my co-worker to help me with difficult tasks. Okay. Do you often ask co-workers to help you with your tasks? Uh, yes, I usually help my co-workers. Okay. okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, guys, next activity. Let me explain a little something for you. Right now, I'm going to share with you this little image we got here. Okay, these are short conversations. Remember, we're in the manuals in page number 29. We got very simple conversations like, could you print out the budget file right away, Rita? Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Now, notice something. Could, would. In this case, the L doesn't have a sound, okay? So we say could, would. The letter L doesn't sound, no suena. So could, could you print out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Now, I know sometimes the, 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 to hear here is different. So let me record on the WhatsApp group so you can get it there. Could you print out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. There you go, okay. Okay, guys, you are going to go back to the groups. Two minutes is more than enough, but I want them memorized so both of them, okay? Because you're going to do both of them. We're going to practice them. Remember, practice is the key here. Recordemos, la práctica es la clave. So we got to practice and practice and practice. Right, guys? So two minutes, just two minutes.
Fisher, I have a question. Yeah, sure. Only just practice the conversion, yeah. the conversation. Yeah, just that, just that. Practice okay. the conversation. Okay, thank you. Hello, guys. Adi, you are as a listener? Carlos Enrique? Okay, guys, let me go check another group. Okay, Brian, let me know as soon as you get. Solo avísame cuando llegues, so I can include you in the activity, okay? Right away, Rita. Right away, Rita. Would you mean opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay, ahora okay. usted. Uh, Con Katia. Could you bring uh, could you bring out the bullet file? Right away, Rita. Would my would my open the window? Sure, no problem. Remember, the L doesn't sound. Acuérdense que la L no suena. Could, could, would. Could. No, quítele la L. Could. Could. Like that. Could. Would. Would. Okay. Could you bring out the budget file? Budget. Budget. Could you bring out the budget file? Right away, Rita. <laughs> Would you mean opening the window? Would you mind? Would you mind opening the window?
Sure, no problem. Okay. Oye usted. Okay. Oye usted, Katia, si usted empieza. Uh, Maritza. Uh -huh. Could you bring out the budget file? Like, away, Rita. Right away, right away, right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Would you mind open the window? Sure, no problem. Would you bring, bring out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Would, Would you, you mind, mind opening open the window? Sure, no problem. Okay. Teacher, um, first I have a question. Teacher. Oops, I'm sorry. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Um, What's the question? What is the difference to make use of could and good? Please. Don't worry, we are getting to there. No se preocupe que para ahí vamos. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Okay. Okay, relax, relax. That's actually next point. Eh, realmente es el siguiente punto en la actividad de ahora. Nice. Okay, so. Oh, before we start, guys, I'm so sorry. My bad, my bad. Let me get the second attendance. Adi Beatriz Reyes Granados. Uh, Ana Cristina Hernández Serrano. Present. Brian Aldair Figueroa Rivera. Present. Carlos Antonio Elías de León. Present teacher. Carlos Enrique Rivas Sánchez. Present teacher. Claudia Marcela Rosales Orantes. Doris Alejandra Bolaño Cerón. Evelyn Karina Molina Maravilla. Present. Graciela Saraí Ramírez Cepeda. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego Ramírez. Present. Uh, Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Jacqueline Ivona Chala Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Fuentes Cedillos. I am here teacher. Katia María de León Elías. Present, teacher. Kenia Marisela Aparicio Abarca. Present. Maritza Elizabeth Martínez Lemos. Present. Marvin Alexander Jiménez García. Present. 
Pedro Rigoberto Ramírez Salazar. Present. Rosalí Ivonne Quintanilla Mejía. Mejía. Susana Carolina Rosales Escobar. Teresa Noemí Ángel Díaz. Okay, guys. Well, 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 well. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Who had I said? ¿Quién había dicho? Carlos Antonio en Juan Fuentes, right? Okay. Both conversations. Okay. Okay, let's go. You start, Juan. Okay. Uh, could you print out the budget file? Hi, okay, for it. Uh, would you mind open opening the window? Sure, no problem. So, okay, now switch roles. Okay. Could you bring up the budget file? Uh, right away, Rita. Could you mean opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now, Marvin Alexander and let's see, and Evelyn, Evelyn Karina, you ready? Okay. Okay. Marvin, you start. Okay. Could you bring out the budget file? Okay. A white Rita. Would you mean open the window? Sure, no problem. Switch roles, please. Could you play all the budget field? Right away, Rita. Will you mean opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay. Would you mind? Will you mind? Opening the window. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now let's see, Guillermo Eduardo, ready? Yes, teacher. Jacqueline Yvonne? Yes, teacher. Okay, guys. Guillermo, you start. Uh, could you prime, uh, print out the budget file? Right on my Rita. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Switch okay. roles, please. Would you bring out to board five? Right away, Rita. Would you me open the window? Sure, no problem. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, next, 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 next. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Carlos Rivas and Katia Maria. Katia, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's do it. Yes, Could you print out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Would you mind opening the window? <clears throat> sure, no problem. Okay. Okay. Could it's you print? Could you? Okay. Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you print out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Would you mind open the window? 
Sure, no problem. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Now let's see. Um, Maritza Elizabeth, you ready? Yes. Okay, Juan Fuentes, help me out with Maritza, please. Yes. Um, lady girls. You start, you start, no, you start, Juan. Okay. okay. Be a gentleman. Could you, could you print out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Would you bring out the print budget out? File? Print out. I'm sorry. Print, print out. Could you print out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Switch roles, please. Teacher, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Could you write the expression, please? Uh, change role, please. Switch. And switch roles. Switch road. Yes, yeah, sure. It's like this. Switch roles. Look in the Zoom chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to you guys. Okay, okay. Am I missing someone? Me faltó alguien? No? Okay. Let's see, next exercise. What, uh, actually what our classmate was asking. Lo que nos preguntaban por acá. Let me share with you. Okay. Let's see, well, request. We are gonna come back to this later. Vamos a regresar a esto en un momento. Well, it's very simple. The word request. La palabra request can be a verb and can be a noun. Es solicitar algo. So, when we use request as a verb, it's solicitar. When we use it as a noun, it's solicitudes, okay? As simple as that. So, request a new phone, please. Pide, solicita, okay? My boss usually has many requests for me. Mi jefe usualmente tiene muchas solicitudes para mí. But we are going to be back. Vamos a regresar a esto. What I want you to get your attention on is how do you use could and would you mind? Okay. In this case, it's simple. Look, could is podrías. When you say would you mind, you are asking, cuando está utilizando would you mind, está diciendo ¿Te importaría? ¿Te molestaría? ¿Ok? So, could you call me later? ¿Podrías llamarme más tarde? Would you mind calling me later? ¿Te molestaría llamarme más tarde? Ok. This is polite. Esto es amable. This is polite and formal. ¿Ok? Let me explain to you. Me explico de una manera distinta, okay? Sorry, guys, if I switch into Spanish for a little while because I need to, this point to be clear. Perdón si por momentos paso al español, pero quiero que eso quede muy, muy claro, okay? We are not used, we are not seeing the difference between the two models. No estamos viendo la diferencia entre los dos models because could express a past possibility, express una posibilidad pasada, would express a, a present possibility or a future possibility. But in this moment, we are talking about something a little bit different, a different application of this. Aquí lo estamos viendo en una aplicación distinta. Let me tell you. Les cuento. When we are asking for a favor, we usually say, hey, podrías. Actually, here, if we are talking to a friend, imagine that Juan is my neighbor. We've been neighbors for 
years. Hemos sido vecinos por años. So we talk, we share, hablamos, conversamos, compartimos. So we're friends. So I need like to change a tire. Necesito cambiar una llanta from the car. So I ask him, hey, Juan, eh, could you help me change the tire? Yo le pregunto, hey, ¿me podrías ayudar a cambiar la llanta? Podrías, te molestaría. O sea, hey, nosotros le decimos a alguien, mira, ¿crees que me ayudas? Esa expresión que es muy casual para nosotros, right? Es, hey, Guillermo, ¿cree que me trabaja con Katia? Estamos haciendo una petición, solo que es un poquito amable. Es distinto que yo le diga a Juan, hey Juan, ayúdame a cambiar la llanta. It's different, right? It's very different. If I ask him, hey Juan, ayúdame a cambiar la llanta. And if I tell him, hey Juan, ¿podrías ayudarme a cambiar la llanta? I'm being more polite. Soy un poquito más amable. En la segunda, ese podría is could. Could you help me change the tire? Okay. Now, what about if Juan is my boss? Juan es mi jefe. And I need to request something from him. Y necesito pedirle algo. Eh, Juan, would you mind giving me permission to leave early? ¿Le molestaría darme permiso para irme temprano? You see, it's different. So in the second case, I'm talking with somebody and I'm trying to be very formal. Estoy hablando con alguien, estoy tratando de ser más formal. Very respectful and polite y amable a la vez. That's the difference. Now, before I jump in, Procesemos esto antes de regresar a aquello. Preguntas. Okay. Because before we get the, to the structure, uh, I'll be honest with you. Antes de que nos metamos a la estructura, quiero que captemos la idea. That's what, what matters the most. Realmente en este momento es lo más importante. If you get the idea, the structure is easy. Si usted tiene la idea, la estructura es fácil. Okay, but it's the idea here. When do we use could, Maritza? ¿Cuándo utilizamos could, Maritza? Say it in Spanish, in your own way. Dígalo en español si quiere, a su manera. No problem. De cuando estamos pidiendo las cosas de una manera amable. Okay. But not necessarily like too formal. Estamos siendo amables, pero no formales. No necesariamente formal. Okay. Okay. Like... Like imagine, like uh, Guillermo, are you married? ¿Está casado, Guillermo? No, okay. I am not. Okay. Well, let's imagine. Vamos a pretender that uh, Guillermo is uh, uh, is married. Pretendamos que Guillermo está casado. I'm sorry, Guillermo. Ya lo casamos. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Guillermo is married. Let's see, ladies. Evelyn, are you married? No. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, Evelyn, you are Evelyn de Abrego. I just got you married with Guillermo, okay? So, Guillermo is just married, okay? Acaba de casarse. So, Guillermo is like, uh, he wants a glass of water. Quiere un vasito con agua. He goes to Evelyn and he tells her, Hey, Evelyn, could you pass me a glass of water? ¿Podrías pasarme un vaso con agua? You see, it's, it's polite, it's amable, but not too formal, pero no tan formal. Okay? After four years, Guillermo's going to be, Hey, you, give me water. But that's different. That's another story. Después de cinco años ya cambia el asunto. <laughs> okay, you get the use of cool? ¿Sí entendemos? ¿Captamos el cool? Ok. Yes. Now, Guillermo, you got a problem. Ahora tiene un problema. Eh, Guillermo is just married and he wants to ask for permission. Él quiere irse de pinta con los amigos. They got a reunion. 
But the problem is this. He got married two days ago. Se casó hace dos días. So Guillermo's gonna get like, hey, would you mind if I go out with my friends? ¿Crees que te molestaría, te importaría si salgo con los amigos? And Evelyn says, no way, Jose. And they say, uh-uh. You see, in that case, he's being more formal. Está siendo más formal y todavía un poquito más amable. Okay? Do we get the level of, of you got could here, you got will here. More polite, would you mind here? More polite and more formal. Okay? Question, guys. Preguntas. Is it clear? Teacher, yes. lo podría... Yes, yes, yes. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Este, podríamos decirlo como de una forma más eh, con personas conocidas, el cool, y ya con personas en una relación de trabajo sería el cool. O las dos se pueden utilizar. Oh, no, 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 no. Lo que pasa es que es el grado de... de... El grado de la petición, qué tan amable puede ser. Por eso les ponía el caso de que, imagínense, usted está casado y le dice a la esposa, usted tiene dos días de casado y se quiere salir con los amigos. Entonces le dice, hey, ¿crees que no hay problema si salgo con los amigos? Would you mind? En este caso es would you mind. ¿Por qué? Porque está siendo, el grado de la petición es más alto. ¿Ok? Cool. Eh... El could es un poquito más abajo la petición. Hey, could you, está trabajando usted, necesita una herramienta y el que está más cerca de su jefe le dice, could you pass me the range, please? ¿Podrías pasarme la range? O sea, dependiendo de la situación es lo que cambia. ¿Qué tan, mm -hmm. qué tan, la petición, qué tan, qué tan amable la quiere hacer? ¿Ok? ¿O qué tan importante okay. es? Algunas situaciones son más casuales que otras. Could, un poquito más casual. Would you mind? Un poquito más formal. Both are polite, solo que ambas son amables. ¿Ok? ¿Ahora sí? Yes, ¿O nos teacher. perdimos? Thank you. No. Guys, okay. tell me, tell me, tell me. Ok, now let's jump into the... Ahora vamos con la destrucción. Hola. Yes. Yes, Evelyn? Yes. Okay, okay. Aha, it wasn't with me, not conmigo. Okay, guys. The structure. So you see, could you call me later? Sure. Could you make 10 copies of this paper right away? Could you contact the tech support? No problem. Okay, look at these ones. Something else where we could apply it. Otra ocasión en la que podemos aplicarla. What about if, if the boss, the one who's asking you? ¿Qué tal si es el jefe el que le está pidiendo a usted? Uses could. ¿Ok? Why? ¿Por qué? Because your boss doesn't have to be polite. Your boss chooses to be polite. Su jefe no necesita ser amable. Su jefe escoge ser amable. Right? If I am... Your boss, I tell you, okay, uh, give me the report. It's an order, right? And you have to, y usted tiene que. But if your boss chooses to be polite, si su jefe escoge ser amable, le dice, hey, could you give me the report? Sigue siendo una orden. Because it's your boss. But it's a little bit more polite. Now, being your boss is not that common that your boss tells you. Siendo su jefe, no va a ser muy común que el jefe le diga, Would you mind giving me the report? ¿Te, molest ¿Te importaría darme el reporte? No, right? I mean, that could happen if your boss wants you to stay doing overtime. Tal vez si la circunstancia lo ameritara, como que le pidan a usted que haga algo que no está dentro de sus obligaciones. Like, hey, would you mind uh, staying two hours after your leave time? ¿Le importaría quedarse dos horas después de su hora de salida? 
I mean, that's a heavy request, right? In that situation, the boss could. En una situación así, quizás lo podría usar el jefe. That depends on the boss. But they choose to. Ellos escogen hacerlo. ¿Ok? Let's continue. Vamos a continuar. Okay. So we start our request. Comenzamos una petición with could you follow the base form plus the ing form of the main verb and plus any complement phrase. Okay, ¿cómo es eso? Could you call me later? Could you make 10 copies of this paper? Could you contact the tech support? Okay. So, if you notice, could you in the base form? Could you in la forma base? Okay. Now, answers to requests with could you are not normally yes, I could or yes, I can. The expected answers are the actions that are requested or church answers like the ones in the examples. La respuesta a estas preguntas normalmente son así. Sure, right away, no problem. Okay. We don't go like, could you call me later? Yes, I could. No, in this case, no. En este caso no aplica. Questions before we move on to the other one? Preguntas antes de que nos movamos al otro? Okay, now in this one, would you mind calling? Okay, let me explain something to you. It says here, start a request with would you mind plus the base form or the ing form of the main verb plus any complement phrase. In this case is this, would you mind calling the plan? Would you mind getting an appointment? And okay, I will explain something here. Le voy a explicar algo acá. Pay attention, guys. This, the verb is call, right? This is the gerund. Esto es el gerundio. ¿Qué es el gerundio? Es un verbo con el ing. No nos vamos a complicar. Okay, I don't want you to get complex. I'm not explaining you the gerund. No le voy a explicar el gerundio. That's a whole different enchilada, okay? So, what you need to know is this. Lo que usted necesita saber es esto. After would you mind, después de algunos verbos en particular y de algunas preposiciones en particular, nosotros vamos a poner un verbo y a ese verbo se le va a poner ing. Pero se va a entender en su forma base. ¿Cuál es su forma base? Limpiar, correr, saltar, nadar, dormir. Ar, ir, esa terminación en el verbo. That's the base form. ¿Ok? Es el verbo en su forma infinitiva. No está siendo conjugado. Would you mind calling? ¿Te importaría llamar? ¿Ok? Would you mind sending? ¿Te importaría enviar? Eh, would you mind turning on your microphone? ¿Te importaría encender su micrófono? Would you mind turning off your microphone? ¿Te molestaría apagarlo? ¿Ok? Apagar. You see? That's, that's the idea. Now, what are some? In some cases, en algunos de los casos que van a usar eso es after go, after play. Si usted pone un verbo después de go o después de play, agregue el ing. And it will sound more natural. Y va a sonar más natural. Like the way we actually speak in English. Como realmente hablamos en inglés. After like, después de like, también. I can tell you like this. Look, I like playing soccer. I like to play soccer. Ambas son exactamente lo mismo. Exactly the same idea. 
Look at them. I like playing soccer. I like to play soccer. Both say the same. Dicen la misma idea. Got it? Lo vemos? I like playing soccer. Me gusta jugar soccer. I like to play soccer. Me gusta jugar soccer. Now, what is more natural? Both are correct. Ambas son correctas. I mean, grammatically, both are correct. Grammaticalmente, ambas son correctas. While speaking, al hablar, both are correct. Yes, sure. I like to play soccer, man. I like playing soccer. Both are quite well understood. Ambas entienden exactamente igual. Now, more natural, more common. I like playing soccer. Okay? That's more natural. In this case, would you mind to open the window? Yes, it's correct. Would you mind to open the window? It's correct. Would you mind opening the window? Sounds better. Suena mejor. Okay? You add the ing, but it's understood as the same. Se le agrega el ing, pero se entiende como lo mismo. Abrir. Would you mind opening the window? Questions? Preguntas? Tell me, guys, sometimes I get excited and I start talking too fast. Dígame, porque a veces me emociono y comienzo a hablar muy rápido. Tell me, tell me. We cool? Vamos bien? Remember, any moment, this is your class, so any doubt, let me know. Recuérdense, esta es la clase de ustedes. So if it's not quite clear, let me know. Si no quedó clarito, clarito, dígame. Well, let's go check then. Vamos a ver entonces. So, would you mind getting an appointment with the HR for me? Ooh, human resources. In a minute. Would you mind sending this box to the clean department? Not a problem. Okay. The same. The answers right away. In a minute. Not a problem. Okay. So if you see, would you mind calling, ING? Would you mind getting? Would you mind sending? Would you mind opening? Would you mind closing? Would you mind cooking? Questions? Let's take a minute. Tomemos un minuto. Leanlo. Check it out. Revisenlo. And tell me if there's any doubt. Y cuéntenme si hay una duda. Si algo no le queda claro, este es el momento. Okay, guys. Questions? Preguntas?
No. Ok. Let's see. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Ok. I need you to write polite requests you receive or give at your workplace. Vamos a ver. You will write polite requests. Vamos a escribir polite requests you give or receive. Que usted hace o recibe in your workplace. Actually, I mean, in our workplace, we interact with people. Interactamos con personas, right? And sometimes there are certain activities that they ask us. Siempre hay actividades que nos piden a alguien que les ayudemos, ¿no? Like, hey, could you take this to the boss? ¿Podría llevarle esto al jefe? Oh, like, would you mind covering a minute for me? ¿Te importaría cubrirme un minuto? I mean, those situations happen. So, I need you to think about just three. Necesito que piense solo tres. Okay? Three of those. I need you to write them down. And I need you to share them with your classmates. Y necesito que las compartan con el con con los compañeros from the group. I will send you to the group. Remember, just three, no more than three. You can use either, could you or would you mind? No problem. Puedo usar cualquiera de las dos. Okay? So it's not three and three. It's just three total. Solo son tres en total. Okay? I'll give you five minutes for this activity. If you got any doubt or questions, give me a holler. Si necesitan ayuda, alguna duda, una pregunta, Usted pida ayuda and I will jump in. Y yo llego al grupo, okay? Okay, guys, let's do it. Okay, guys. Preparing? Who's ready? ¿Quién ya está listo? Me, teacher. 
Okay, perfect. <laughs> Tell me the request. Could you write a memo today? Oh, sure, right away. Man, you're the boss. Uh, me parece que el jefe. <laughs> uh, would you mind cooking the dinner? Man, I cannot cook nothing. Yo no puedo <laughs> cocinar nada. I mean, I can cook. I can prepare tuna, sardines, and maruchans. That's it. <laughs> okay. For real. For real. That's my cooking abilities. Esas son todas my cooking abilities. <laughs> okay. Uh, in my house, you know, we divide the activities. Acá dividimos la actividad. They cook, I eat. Ellos cocinan, yo como. 50-50, <laughs> you see, I help. Okay. <laughs> And the last one, could you call me later? Oh, that's that's a good one, actually, because that one can be used at work and it can be used in an informal situation. Okay. Perfect. Evelyn, what about yours? Mm. What about Jacqueline? Hello. Te le falta una. Hello guys, did you finish? Mm, no, teacher, a mí me falta una. We are missing one. Okay. Juan, what about you? Did you finish? Yes, I finished. Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me your request, please. Okay. Um, would you mind doing my homework for a few minutes? Man. Would you uh, mind doing my homework for a few minutes? Okay. Now, the book just gives us the, the affirmative answers. El libro solo nos da las afirmativas. I'm so sorry, man. I don't understand it. That's negative. I mean, esa es una respuesta negativa, you see? I'm so sorry. I... I don't understand it. No lo entiendo. Okay. Um, Next one. Could, could you take uh, those documents and hand them over? Yeah, sure. 
Give them to me. Okay. Um, could you hand out these flyers? Oh, sure. My pleasure. That's a different answer, you see, more formal. Oh, sure. My pleasure. Okay, okay, excellent. I finished it. Tell me yours. Uh, would you mean would you mind explaining the would shopping mind? box? Would you mind? Would you mind explaining the shopping box to me? Okay, perfect. Next. Could, could you help me write the email? Oh, sure. No problem. Next one. Uh, could you install install the internet? Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm not good at that. Yo no soy buena en eso. I mean, I always bring a hammer. Yo ando un martillo. <laughs> so if something doesn't work, I smash it. Cool. Thank you. Carlos, Carlos okay. Antonio. What about yours? Yes. Uh, would you mind organizing the meeting next weekend? Organizing. Organizing. Organize, organizing the, the meeting, meeting next weekend. The meeting. Sure, no problem. Next one. Would you take me to work tomorrow? So sorry, man. My car broke down. Se me arruinó el carro. So sorry. <laughs> Uh, would you mind parking my car to the mechanic? Sure, no problem. Sure. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Vamos de regreso, okay? Okay. Come on, guys. You see me speaking. Nobody tells me my microphone is off. Okay, let's see. Solo por eso, Evelyn, you're going to start. Where are you going, Evelyn? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Perdón que la senté de nuevo. Give me your request. Do you cook for me? Oh man, I cannot cook. Yo no puedo. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Next one. Okay, would you make the would you mind? order? Would you mind? Would you make the order? Okay, en este caso la expresión era así, mire. Le cuento. Lo que pasa es que el would you mind es como, como una sola expresión que es con la que estamos trabajando. So, would you mind making the order? Veala así. You see? Would you mind making the order? Era Mike con K. 
era este verbo. Make? Make. Uh -huh. Make. Vaya, ok, pero como se recuerda, would you mind es una expresión fija. Ok, uh -huh. esa no va a cambiar. Would you mind, siempre va a ir completa. Después del mind, usted pone el verbo make. Pero yo les contaba de que después del would you mind, al verbo make, usted le va a poner ing. Entonces sería making. Exactly. Would you mind making the order? El would you mind es fijo, ese no cambia. El verbo que viene a continuación, sí le vamos a agregar ing. Making. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Let's see, Maritza, what you got? Would you enter the invoice into the system? Would you? Could. Oh, could you enter? Perfect. Sí. Could you enter? Excellent. Next one. Could you call the administrator? Could you call? And three, could you send me the information? Okay, could you send me the information? Yes, yeah, sure, no problem, I will. Uh, let's see, Juan Fuentes, please, your turn. Okay. Um, could you mind? Taking this document to the office. Perfect. Uh, Next one. Could you take this document and hand them over? Okay, perfect. Could you hand uh, out these flyers? Perfect. Could you hand out? Hand out. Say it like that. Could Dígalo you, así. Hand could out. You hand, hand out. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Marvin. Yes. Uh, the first. Would you me? Would you mean? Would you mind? Would you mind explaining the shopping box to me? Perfect. Could you help me write the email? And could you install the internet? Okay, could you install the internet? Yes. Perfect, thank you. Let's see, Mr. Rivas, Carlos. Okay, teacher. Could you place your glass on the table? Could you mind taking out the trash? Could you take my home? Could you take me home? Could you take me home? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay. And thank you. Okay, guys. Well, the moment has come for the last attendance. El momento llegó para la última attendance. Well, let me tell you. Uh, personally, thank you very much for the opportunity. It was a very good experience being here with you. We expect Monday your, your teacher is be back. Esperamos que el lunes su profesor ya esté in tip-top shape, ya yeah, en forma, okay? Uh, but a pleasure for me, really, really a pleasure. I expect, espero que you enjoy the class as much as I do. Espero les haya gustado la clase tanto como a mí. And let me get the final attendance. Adi Beatriz Reyes Granados. Thank you. Ana Cristina Hernández Serrano. Present teacher. Brian Aldair Figueroa Rivera. Present teacher. Carlos Enrique Rivas Sánchez. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Elías de León. 
Present teacher. Claudia Marcela Rosales Orantes. Doris Alejandra Bolaño Cerón. Evelyn Karina Molina Maravilla. Present. Graciela Saraí Ramírez Cepeda. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego Ramírez. Present teacher. Irma del Tránsito Alegría Martínez. Jacqueline Ivón Ayala Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan, Juan Carlos Fuentes Cedillos. Um, present teacher, and it, it was a pleasure to meet you, teacher. My pleasure, guys. Thank you. Katia María de León Elías. Present teacher, and thank you for everything. Thanks to you. Good participation. Kenia Maricela Paricio Abarca. Present teacher. Thank you. Maritza Elizabeth Martínez Lemus. Present. Marvin Alexander Jiménez García. Present. Pedro Rigoberto Ramírez Salazar. Rosalí Ivón Quintanilla Mejía. Susana Carolina Rosales Escobar. Teresa Noemí Ángel Díaz. Ok, guys. Thank you very much. My pleasure. I expect to see you soon. Tal vez me lo encuentro en otro módulo. Bye bye. Have a good night. Okay. Happy good night. night. Bye. See you good Monday. Night. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night.
Well, time's up. See you later.